Welcome one, welcome all. Season three, week three. It's been a bit of a trip. Here we are. We're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, hi, Sev. I thought you normally did that in the H did this in the HDL chat. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, we're just gonna start right off with Wade versus Lion Boy. Yeah, <laughs> it was a fun battle. So. Uh, Wade's going to start off with his Mudsdale against King Monkey. He's going to take half from a Grass Knot. Obviously, stamina procs. That's not going to stop Wade from setting up some hazards with some good old Stealth Rock. Hay Fever is going to come in. As Wade switches into Oprah Winfrey. You get an energy ball. You get an energy ball. Everyone gets an energy ball. Except for Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey got lead poisoning. You hate to see it. Uh, Ronan Keats going to come in. He's going to let Clay all set up that light screen for free. As Wade pivots into Float Soul. Gets Toxic. So that has two Mons that are, uh, that are now on the timer. Uh, but that's not going to stop Floatzel from killing Clay at all with a liquidation. Long Arms is going to come in. Before just a whole lot of switching ensues. We now see the Abomination going for a Draco Meteor on Mudsdale. It only does 35%. That's not going to secure the deal. It barely lives in Earthquake from full. Goes for Pulpy, expecting a switch. Unfortunately, a switch, switch does not happen, and so Drake's ult is going to go down into the furnace where all the abominations end up. Lord Helix is going to come in, go straight for a Scald, and finish off the Mudsdale. Fossil Fighter has entered the arena. Goes for a close combat on Lord Helix. Does not kill, but does trigger the Eject Pact off of close combat to pivot into Florges. While Lion Boy goes for a Shell Smash. And then goes for Power or Meteor Beam. Does not get the kill. And dies to a Moonblast. I tried. Then, obviously, the uh, the Gummy Bear comes in. Gex Toxic. Goes straight for a Belly Drum. Lion Boy really wants to get this sweep, eventually. He's going to go straight for the Drain Punch. Get the finishing kill on... Florges. Wait, he's going to send out Oprah. He misses the play rough, and I just want to say, this mattered immensely. This play rough would have killed Gothitelle. He had this. Slurpuff would have slept the swept the entirety of Wade's team at this point. This miss mattered heavily. If Wade, if Lion Boy had not missed this play rough, Slurpuff would have just swept and won. And I had a loss at stake during this game. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, Psychic plus Toxic Damage is going to bring Slurpuff down. The miss absolutely mattered. You hate to see it. Infernape comes in, goes straight for the U-turn pivot into Long Arms Incarnate. Or, sorry, Long Arms. And then gets hit with a, uh, well, Psychic's doing nothing. We got about one more turn of Toxic left. 
Gets a crit on the Psychic, and even then that does next to nothing. Goes straight for the Autonomize. And then Gothitelle gets sacked to a Flamethrower. Gets that Beast Boost up. DiGiorno has entered. Uh, it's going to get an Air Slash. And flinch. And another Air Slash. And flinch. And another Air Slash. And no flinch, which will cause Celesteela to die. He's just gotten one more flinch. I know, one more. One more is all that was needed. What's funny is that was when I started rooting for you and then your luck went bad. Yep. Uh, because that well, was cause... when I made the thing of, I told uh, Hylian, if you won, I would unblock you. Well, it's because it's also, it's Australian logic, right? You gave him luck and so it's bad. Because everything's upside down there. Uh, close combat gets rid of Tyrantrum. The crit wasn't even necessary, uh, but it will die to an object. One second. It was a close match. It was just unfortunate that I was missing. And uh, that play was Give me one second, chat. Off. Obviously, you never knew about what was at stake for me. <laughs> you, you unblocking me? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I tried. I, it, I, it was a close battle. Because I, I was rooting against Wade. I mean, I was expecting other mons, and yeah, it cost me. Which it was great, because Hylian... Uh, no, it wasn't Hylian. Someone's first thought was, wait, why is he blocked? And then someone just went... Because he posts pictures of spiders, and he, Steve's an arachnophobe. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've, I've changed from that. A little bit. So they were just kind of like, oh, yeah, that makes sense then if... Yeah. Which is completely understandable. But if only that playoff would have hit, because if that playoff would have hit, it had Drain Punch and Energy Ball, and it was max special attack as well. So it could have easily killed the Chevy Chase. Drain Punch would have easily killed both the Wildem Heat and the Tyrantrum. It was upsetting that just that playoff just missed because of the play yeah. punch, playoff energy ball. No, the, it the, would have killed everything. The play rough absolutely mattered. That miss was so freaking important. And, and I well, for a brief moment, I was thinking, oh, justice is coming back to me with the air slash. Like, yeah. one more, one more, one more. One you just, more. he got teased <laughs> twice. He got teased twice. And the fact that it was doing more each time, I was thinking, Come on. All Please. right. Moving right along, we have myself against Ray. Uh, I would like to preface this by saying I fucked up. Hold on a minute. I got something for you. It oh, better no. not be an L. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm just... I I I'm just hoping that me and Spooks' masterpiece is like the last one for the week. Uh, I can make it the last one. Because even you say it yourself, that is a masterpiece. And Enjoy. Is that supposed to be me? Perhaps. Did you seriously draw this just to piss me off? <laughs> please tell me it's you. Please tell me it's Hylian just holding an L. No. 
You actually, it's a, it's, you actually drew this in advance just to piss me off. Is it highly and hugging a whimsicott? I'm opening this in Chrome so everyone can see it now. She, <laughs> he actually drew this. He actually drew this just to piss me off. He had this waiting. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you know, I see, I see, I see the new logo of. Of, of your teammate. Fuck I, off. I don't, I don't Fuck you off. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even be mad. You put time and effort into this. Just... Just for this... I will... I applaud you, good sir. I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. Oh, that's funny. I, I can actually not be mad at this. I am like I'm livid that you that it is here, but at the same time I like I can't I have nothing but respect for the fact that you actually just committed yourself to doing this. I respect the hustle. I respect the hustle. I don't respect the message. <laughs> I mean, it is a message of disrespect. Exactly. So I I I do not respect the message, but I do respect the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking it was going to be you hugging a whimsicott and just saying, oh, it's Oh, yeah, don't worry. Yours was already the last one. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> no. You gotta save the best for last. All right. Okay, it definitely was not the best. Most entertaining for last. <laughs> so, so as a teaser, guys, uh, a couple days before the battle, I was DM'd something by my opponent, a proposition that, well... Mm -hmm. I think played more to my sh style anyway. Yep. We'll, so. we'll give we'll give free context once it's time. Uh, but you guys are gonna be in for a treat. So, I mean, right along we got myself versus Raid. Or I fucked up. I knew someone was gonna bring Trick Room. The one time someone brought it, I forgot Trick Room was a thing. <laughs> Especially the one that mentions the Clarice you see a lot. Yeah. So, uh, I brought out Crobat first. Now, I brought out Crobat because I knew for a fact Ray was going to lead with Whimsicott because he knows I hate Whimsicott. Well, that is basically my best lead. So, I knew for a fact that he was going to lead with Whimsicott, which is why I led with Crobat. Also, I love how it's like a hard... Like, look, it loves you, Hylian. The Whimsicott loves you. Yeah, that love is not mutual. I do not reciprocate. <laughs> <laughs> so I go straight for a dual wig beat, uh, and then this happens, and I immediately freak out because I'm like, well, shit. So I then U turn. I U turned into Scizor, thinking I need something that can tank. I need something that can tank. I knew full well that if you had Fire Fang, I was screwed. I didn't know anything else that was going to live this. I needed something to tank to stall this out. Well, that was also my thought process was because I was cursed Mega Scizor. So, yeah. I was already, I was min speed. Yeah, exactly. And so my mentality was, okay, if I can just live a single Fire Fang or something, which I might, I think I have enough defensive investment to do this. If I live a single Fire Fang, I can set up curse and then I will outspeed next turn. So I can then okay, just okay. start spamming Roost and stalling this out. Yeah. So that was the that was the plan. Uh unfortunately things did not uh transpire that way and I just instantly died. And so oh. that sucked. Thankfully most of the things that, you know, Scizor was going to hit, Crobat also hits, so it's whatever. I bring in Comfe just cuz I don't have anything I could safely bring in on this thing. I just need to sack some stuff to sell this out. Uh I bring in Starmie. Trying to go for a scold just to try to burn the damn thing. Um, he, you know, he swatched, he swatched, switched yeah, in. Like, yep, yeah, Ludicolo. I missed the toxic. 90% accuracy, <laughs> chat. 90%. It's 100% accuracy if you use a poison toxic. No, 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 it's not even 100% accuracy. It doesn't check accuracy at all if you're poisoned. Exactly. It always hits if you're poisoned. Uh, so of course I died to a died to a crit Giga Drain, 
as a course. Uh, bring in the albino Namekian dog. Uh, I go for substitute. And there goes Spooks in the chat. Yeah, Spooks just rub salt in the wound, why don't you? Uh, I mean, it was deserved salt. Jolteon, uh, comes in, because obviously that's not going to work. Go for heel belt. So, for context, this was throat spray Jolteon. Heel bell counts as a sound move. I thought that even if heel bell failed, it would still proc throat spray. It does not. Uh, oh. That was why I uh, clicked heel bell when I did. Uh, turns out heel bell has to actually remove a status for it to proc throat spray. Yeah, we were all very confused. And of course, I didn't explain this in the middle of the match because I didn't want anybody to know what I was doing. Just in case he chose to run it later, but now he's explained it's... it. Well, I, mean, I explained it after the match. I didn't want to explain in the middle of the fight because that would give that would put me at an unfair disadvantage. So, switched into Crobat just to tank an Ice Beam from full because I knew I could. And I can't, you know, leave Jolty on the end there. So then I'm just going to start, you know, going for Roosts because at this point, all I can do is just sort of... Stall this thing out. I hate playing stall, especially on a hyper offense team, but I didn't have another option. Also, fuck off, Spooks. He never leaves. But the thing that I thought about when you did the original uh, heal belt, I figured you thought I was going to switch into Talonflame. No. So, I go for a dual wing beat. Now, I want to preface this by saying this Crobat was built to live max attack. Adamant Psycho Cut from Gallade from full and then retaliate kill with dual wing beat. Unfortunately, Ray built the Gallade to live a dual wing beat from full from Crobat. Yes, I did. But uh, shenanigans also ensued for me. Uh, for, uh, yeah, watch. Uh, triple Axel is going to come in. Only one hit. Thank God. This is why I hate Triple Axel but love it at the same time. So I missed the dual wing beat. So at this point, I'm, I'm pivoting. Just go for U-turn. I'm going to pivot into Jolteon. Just because I was okay with sacking it off if I needed to. But uh, Ray's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, which doesn't really affect me a whole lot. None of my mods really have to, you know, deal with rocks too much. And Crobat was holding heavy duty boots. So I didn't care too much. Yeah. The tip damage at least yep. was something. Uh, dual wing beat is going to finish off Ludicolo. Then, you know, Gallade's going to come in and also die to a dual wing beat. Shadow Sneak would not have done yeah. jack or anything, so... And then, uh, Talonflame's going to come in. I roost preemptively just in case. Uh, Talonflame's going to go for a Will Wisp, and that's unfortunate. Uh, but at the same time, that lets me, you know, try to go for U-turn on Jolteon. So I U-turn into Jolteon to try to go for the heal bell. Except Ray also U-turned. Goodbye, And so then Zapdos comes in. Uh, at this point, I just decide, fuck it. Just gotta go for the differential BM. So go for Zygarde. And uh, get up a free substitute, thank god. Uh, I set up a coil, which uh, obviously I knew Ray was going to go for Trick Room. At this point, I didn't care. So I'm just going to, you know, set up another coil. Yeah, I completely forgot everybody else was physical at the time, so my brain was like, wait a yeah. minute. So Moonblast is going to break my, uh, my substitute, but yeah, 1,000 arrows does not finish the job, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, so at this point I'm going to switch into Crobat because I can tank a Moonblast like it's nothing. Zapdos is going to come in. I'm going to go for Cross Poison. Trick Room's done with. Go for another Roost just so that way I can tank any sort of Electro type attack you might be going for. Unfortunately, goes for Heat Wave. 
gonna switch into Nemecian Dog, so uh, you... using Thunderbolt would have been dumb. So, switched in back into Zygarde. Heatwave happens again. I do not get burned, thankfully. Not yet, anyway. So, at this point, Whipsicott <laughs> comes in. I proceed to set up another substitute. Man, that's rude as fuck, just going... Not yet, at least. Just go for another thousand arrows. Moonblast happens. Thankfully, because Trick Room is not set up, I have speed and I can finish the job with thousand arrows. What's better for me to sack it anyway? Tom Flame's going to come in. Goes for a Will O Wisp. I set up substitute, and I set up substitute knowing that he was going to go for Will O Wisp, but unfortunately I was outsped. U turn's going to, you know, pivot into Zapdos. I set up a Kawail. Now here, I'm just worried about him having, like, Stone Edge or something. No. Uh, Ray pivots into town flame gets hit by a thousand arrows smack down so now a thousand arrows going to hit for super effective the next time Dough wing beat misses and, and I so i get the kill with thousand arrows uh mawile comes in thousand arrows does not kill it would have if i had not been burned but i will die to the play rough Crowback comes in. I'm just going to go for the roost. I get hit with Iron Head, and then I'm not going to die to burn. Barely. So I roost again, but it doesn't matter if this is just delaying the inevitable. Oh, yeah, it's Mega Maw Wallet. It's just like, you know, removed. Hex from Pennsylvania does it again. You see this guy? It's you like a truck. You see this guy? <laughs> this guy is the epitome of just throwing salt in your rune when you didn't ask for it. I said your wound. No, you did say you were in. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, Spooks, you're just the penultimate troll, and I hate you for it. it, it hey, it's okay. Our battle. As a troll, I was happy because I helped raid team build. What the fuck you want from me? Fuck off. <laughs> Still a troll, though. No, I was here for the whole thing. Don't worry about it. Oh hell yeah! It also was just like it was the reason it was salt in the wound was because like no one's fucking rooting for me, so it's just there was this one dude. Just to give context, chat, to say a, a favorite phrase of my friend, uh, this Ray is not confident in singles. He has only done VGC doubles for like the past what forever. Yeah. This, is, this is his first time in a single draft league, and I was trying, and I'm like, really trying to help him get comfortable and get into his groove. No, no. It's, so if he asks me for help, I'm like, I'm, I'm there for him. No, it's, it's fine that you did. I'm just saying, like, you have to understand how that feels on the receiving end, just having one person root for your opponent, then no one's reinforcing you. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Like, that's just, that's not a good feeling. So I was like, of course I was a little bit miffed. You've got one guy vote rooting for your opponent and no one's, you know, reinforcing you, being like, good job, Hylian. So you just, you just feel like it's you against the world. Of course I was miffed. No, no, you did as well as you could have for <laughs> getting <laughs> trick roomed. And it's not like I didn't goof up. Yeah, Ray made several misplays. He... For some reason, didn't set up Trick Room on the Whimsicott at 1,000 arrows. Clearly didn't kill. My thought process was he was gonna just bring in Crowbat, but then I rem yeah. remembered now. Oh shit! All of my Pokemon are still slower! Yeah, if you had set up Trick Room, 1,000 arrows or Moonblast definitely would have killed for the next turn. <laughs> Moonblast was pointless. I'm a dumb, 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 dumb. Yep. Moving well, right along, we have. I have to go. Alright. 
to D&D. Come on. Moving right along, we have Yarun against Clay. This, this was a Stabmons battle. For those who aren't aware of how Stabmons works, this means that each of them had movesets consisted only of moves that were the same type as the Pokemon, including non-attacking moves. For example, a normal type Pokemon can run Protect and Sword Stance. Any Pokemon that does not have normal typing cannot run those moves. And it sucked. <laughs> so, as we, uh, as we get started here, we see Yarun leading off with, uh, with Houndoom against Clay's Nidoqueen. Goes straight for an overheat, triggering Eject Pack and a pivot into Greninja. He's going to get hit with an Earth Power. Does almost 70% health. Clay's going to switch into his extra life. Get hit by a Hydro Pump. Yarun's going to switch back into Houndoom and get put to sleep by Spore. Gonna go back into Nidoqueen. Turn two, wake up into another overheat. Gonna get hit by the sludge wave. No poison, although it obviously can't because sheer force. Yeah. Mm. I didn't earth power there because I thought he was gonna go to Mandibus. Yep. And sure enough, he did. Uh, Clay's going to switch into his bad rings. Uh, while Yarun sets up a tailwind. <laughs> I forgot that this is the gimmick. And then taunts that so Clay cannot set up his own tailwind. It was a bro moment. Uh, Uncle Creepy. I will only refer to it as that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, un Uncle Uncle Creepy briefly makes appearance before switching into Nidoqueen. Queen. I'll, I'll refer to it as famous. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's okay, context. To be a hundred percent fair, on the um. Oh, can you go back one turn? The Guzzlord uh, being my high dragon being switched out. Last turn. Yeah, I switch. I switched it out because I. You ruin is crazy when it comes to his team building, and if he was max speed, he actually outsped me in Tailwind. Yep. <laughs> because he had one on up and I didn't, so I, uh, I I didn't want to risk that chance. So I just went back into yep. the Nido Queen, <laughs> which unfortunately, it gets knocked off, but not the way I wanted to to plan. The Nido Queen had a toxic spikes. There's toxic spikes assault dust that you should see in a minute. Yeah. Also, for context, chat, this whole thing right here, this is a reference to the fact that uh, in Oras, I got through Wonder Trave at one point, a level 74 shiny figo female Hydreigon named Uncle Creepy. I still have it to this day. It is a completely legitimate Hydreigon. Why somebody traded that away, I will never know. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, you go back to it now. Yep. Sacked the Nido Queen. Yep, Nidoqueen Queen gets, uh, gets sacked. Did its job, honestly. Yep. Uh, gets that beefs boost. Tailwind is now no longer in effect for your rune. So Clay's going to send out High Dragon, go straight for a Draco Meteor and get the kill. Yep. High Dragon! Hmm. Just, I don't know. Just Urshifu wrong. comes in as Clay hard switches into Golbat, eats and Drain Punch for breakfast. That did nothing. Uh, Wicked Blow is going to come in, just deal with that while well, Clay sets up his own Tailwind. So if he didn't have any HP, actually, the Brave Bird just killed him. Yep. Uh, Houndoom comes in to die to a Brave Bird, and then uh, DeBuzz comes in while Clay goes for a Roost. Yeah. And then Yarun goes for his Tailwind. <laughs> Lots of gas passing here. Yeah. And so Clay switches in Hydreigon, predicting the taunt. Yeah, because at that point we both had Tailwind up. <laughs> yep. uh, gets hit by a foul play, goes straight for another Draco. Almost kills Mandibuzz from pull. Unfortunately, Mandibuzz is a very, very chonky burp. Yeah. 
Urshifu comes in as Clay switches back into Golbat. I just went back into Golbat because, like... Yeah. Garoon switches into Skunk Tank and gets hit by a Brave Bird. Goes for a Lash Out. Clay goes for Tailwind again. I mean, did you see how much that did? That did 16. Yep. Uh, goes for Roost, gets himself back up to full. Gets hit by a Poison Jab, that's doing nothing. Goes for another Brave Bird. Just taking some residual chip from... You're feeling stuff. Sucker Punch does not work as Clay goes for Roost again. Gets himself back up comfortably to full. And no reason not to. Yep. Gets hit Especially by Lash now Out. Set up another tailwind again. Sets up another Tailwind. Yeah. And then I kill those. For ground sex, I'm not even mad. I'm just memeing for the fact that there's just a lot of Tailwinds in this match. <laughs> Stop turning the fan on, goddammit! Uh, the fan on. Yep. And Golbat's going to just tank the Sucker Punch for breakfast because Eevee lights a hell of a drug and then kill Stunfisk with Grapefruit. Yeah, Grapefruit's in that drug, though. Don't yep. do that. Uh, I knew I could live that yep. once he got five hits. Life Orb Greninja only gets three hits with the Water Shuriken, dies to another Brave Bird. Uh, Clay desperately needs to heal on the Golbat at this point. Uh, so nice. Sucker Punch does not get work. Wyrune did not just expect Roost to be on me, but regardless, uh, Wicked Blow. Wait, no, 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 no. I know, like, I, I remember this exact same scenario got brought up before about why Wyrune didn't actually click Wicked Blow. Well, I had Tailwind up. So, I'm getting, if I'm not Roosting, I'm faster than him. Right. What I more so went is why Yurun didn't go for something like knockoff on this to get rid of Greedy White. It doesn't get knockoff. Or Shifu doesn't get knockoff? Nope. Wow. Well, and... didn't catch. Wow. Bad Pokemon. Bad. Why is this thing ban banned to Ubers? Does he get knockoff? Ba bad Mon. Bad Mon. And Clay would know after. Uh... I was about to give him the link to it afterwards, but. Yeah. Uh, regardless, Mandibuzz comes in, gets hit by a Brave Bird, barely lives. Uh, but that's not going to stop Golbat from finishing the job with final Brave Bird. Yeah, and I knew a Brave Bird would kill the Urshifu. Yep. Tanks the Wicked Blow, and then finishes the job with Brave Bird, except not really, because died. I didn't get the last kill off. And then Alchemy comes in. Alchemy got the last kill, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Alchemy Caramel Swirl comes <laughs> in. God, I hate the Alchemy. <laughs> it will I mean, make sense once you actually see the gift for it, because <laughs> it, it's one-to-one, -one, basically. It's yeah. perfect. And that's the game. Uh, now, for context, as to Clay's, uh, the reason why Clay would know whether or not it gets knocked off. Clay did what we can only describe as going full wits on a situation. For those who don't know, wits refers to a mutual friend of myself and Clay's, Japura Wits, who is just the rain man of draft leagues. This man plans every single scenario. He has seen the past, the future, all that has been, all that will be, all that currently is. He knows all. where the export thing is in Google Sheets because it's not like You just send me a Chase League. Oh well, yeah, but I think I have to actually turn it on so you can do that. Yeah, if you just go to share and then turn on enable link sharing and then just send a link. Oh, right, because it went over to this tab. Yeah. I was looking forward to the other areas. Yeah. Uh, restricted. Yeah, okay. Copy, then... You know what, I'll just post it in an HTML chat. So, uh... Oh. You need access. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that would work solely because I didn't give access. Huh? <laughs> I don't understand 
half of why Google does what it does, but this will never make sense to me. Uh, anyone with this link? Done. Share. Guess. Try that again. There we go. As we can see, Clay has followed in Wits' footsteps because, oh dear God. Every single mon in your rune's possession, Wade went through and found every single possible move that could be brought. And then organized it. And then I also rated them too. Yeah, and then went out of their way to rate and plan out based on the likelihood of said moves being brought. <laughs> Very proud of this. <laughs> you should be. You should be. Fucking color coordinated. I only so, wish that the moves were actually punched by color and not alphabetical. Yeah, I could see that. I prefer it alphabetical. It makes it easier for me to find stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. For some reason, just the color just seems like it'd be just like the oh. Yeah, my one regret is. <laughs> Wait, did I knock this? Where is? Where's Slash out? Right here. No, no, I know that. I was thinking. Oh right, Skunking didn't get Lash out. Never mind. Yeah. But so, yeah, no, yeah. this is a. Uh... This is a lot more work for what, probably what it was, but it worked out. I mean, it clearly paid off. Yeah, it did. And I was also, can we just go over to the very like end of the sheet? Look at Morgrim's fairy moves. Just like slide it all the way to the end. You hate to see it. <laughs> well, you, you hate. can't see it. Your face cam's there. You hate to see. No, it's not. Oh shit, it is. Yeah. Don't, don't pull that it's not shit with me. I'm the one looking at it. You hate to see it. Basically, only gets three, fa it gets three fairy boots. It's just so sad. I was actually kind of surprised with how little mods. Like, also, um, you ruined lied to me. I know this is a meme, but Greninja does not get Aqua Ring. <laughs> I was lied to? <laughs> I was I, promised. Was first... I was promised by Yarun Aqua Ring Greninja. That was the first thing he told me about this when he came up with the idea. And I when I was actually going through the moves, I was like, "Wait a minute! You were playing me. This thing doesn't get Aqua Ring." I was promised Aqua Ring Greninja. Hey guys, I found my left Joy-Con. Oh my fucking god! Not this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the right one isn't with it, but I found the left. Oh my god, Sev, why are you the way that you are? I don't know, but yeah, I uh, I don't oh, think wait. I've ever pulled this move again, at least in this season. I might do it again in a future season, but as of now, I think this is my peak. Remember, only go full wits responsibly. Hold on, guys. I need to turn on my base camp for this one because if you're you're gonna. Like I said, just just found the left one, right? Found the right one. It was actually still. Why do you just not have these attached to your switch at all times? What is wrong with you? I don't know where my pro controller is. That doesn't prevent you from putting the other Joy-Con in the switch. I can't tell if Ray put that uh, surfetch thing in response to this conversation. Or... Seb, your yeah, pro was, controller yeah. doesn't determine whether or not our Joy-Con can be put into the switch. Well, I was using this as a controller for something. They Why didn't you put it back when you were done? Because I hate taking these stupid rails off. <laughs> They're really tough to take off. Anyway, probably get the, we should get the well. You guys should get the rest of the matches. Yeah. All right. I like I said, I actually could only do that bit. I have to go get ready for an early doctor's appointment tomorrow. Have fun. <laughs> Moving right along. Sandy versus Tyler. Should I go push the talk on? Nah, you're fine. It's your prerogative. 
If, if I need people on push to talk, I will literally set the channel to push to talk so people don't have a choice. So. Much better. <laughs> uh. The context for this match, Sandy and Tyler built each other's teams. Or to be more specific, Sandy and myself built Tyler's team, and Tyler built Sandy's team. Uh, something that I will quickly draw attention to after the match is up uh, is this team that we made for Tyler is referred to as Operation Nice. You will see why very soon. So we're going to start against uh, Dom Fan and the Magic Conk. Oh, hell, the Magic Conk. Magic Conk, what shall we do? Nothing. Hungry Pumpkin comes in, uh, eats an Earthquake, then eats an Ice Shard, then goes for a Flame Charge, gets the speed increase. Gets hit by another Ice Shard. Goes for a bullet seed. And finishes the job. Alas, poor elephant. We hardly knew you. Uh, Gorgas is going to get Shadow Snake before going for an explosion. Proccing the Wiki Berry on the muck. Sensual Moaning comes in. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> for context. <laughs> For context, the reason it was called Sensual Moaning was for two reasons. One, it's Bug Buzz Throat Spray. Two, I knew for a fact this was going to make somebody feel uncomfortable. I'm just staring at you right now. I made it this nickname because I knew it was going to trigger at least one person, and that was enough for me. Congratulations. It did it. Goes for a Shadow Ball, then a Shadow Sneak, then gets hit by another Bug Buzz. Then goes for a Shadow Sneak, then gets hit by a Dark Pulse and dies. Sandy then switch switches in LeBron James, who goes for Scorching Sands and finishes off Drapion like nothing. The magic yonk then comes in and dies to Scorching Sands. I was trying to say before. I found where I was threatening to throw you out a window. Yep. Uh, Sebastian comes in against Prescription 2. Goes for an Aqua Tail before switching into the Iron Taco. Gyarados is going to go in and go for Whirlpool. So we have Whirlpool Gyarados. Whirlpool Mega Gyarados. Yeah. Uh, Meteor Beam Registeel. Hit Protect. Times like this where I wish I had a stream jack so I just do that. I have one of those. Uh, Gyarados is going to now dive shenanigans. Yeah, dive shenanigans ensue. Gyarados is going to get hit by a Dundabo. Still hanging in there, though. Goes for another protect. You know, I just realized, I thought about this. If it was not Megat at the time, it would have died. It absolutely would have, because it would have been quad weak. Instead of just two times. Yep. Goes for another dive to miss another Dundabo. Uh, Whirlpool ends up running out, but that's not going to stop Registeel from dying to a dive. Mom's son, wife person comes in. And finishes off Gyarados with Play Rough. LeBron comes in. While Sandy, or not Sandy, but Tyler Hard switches into Garchomp, taking a Scorching Sands. Does get burned, unfortunately. In the chat. Yep. It's hit by another Scorching Sands. Goes for Aqua Tail. It does a decent amount of damage. But then will ultimately die to the third Scorching Sands. 
DNC comes back in and takes 69% nice from Scorching Sands before finishing off Cinderace with a play rough. Fake True 7 Help Me comes in and finishes the job with an Iron Head. Now to explain why we call Tyler's team Operation Nice. As you can see, every single Pokemon had at least one stat that ended with 69. This was intentional. And then, of course, our most holy of lords, the Magic Conk, with a whopping five stats ending with 69. Couldn't get special attack to do it. We too. tried. We tried so hard to get every single stat 69 on this thing. We even tried messing with the IVs. Nothing would worked. Five was the most we could do. Uh, right. He resists the image. Yeah. To the next battle. Moving right along, we have Kevin versus Kalisto. So, uh, the X bugs me. It, it bugs everyone. Don't tell him. Don't don't <laughs> tell him. Don't tell him it bugs everyone. You can't know. No one can know. It just really bothers everybody, but we just can't tell any of them. I think he's in chat. I don't know. Is he in chat? Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Everybody knows who am I? Who are you? Where did I get here? How did I get here? What am I doing here? What is this I platform? I just don't understand why there's an X if it's not Collecto. I don't know, Sevexed. Or I'm sorry, should I say Sevest? Don't put that fucking shit on me. You're right, I, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will literally rip your vocal cords out, tie them together, and then put them back in the opposite way. Okay, yo, chill! <laughs> chill! <laughs> I'm just a <laughs> just chill out here for a minute. I have no idea that that <laughs> escalated quickly. I came from a dark place. That absolutely came from a dark place. What the fuck? Your vocal cords about to be more curly than your hair. Um, uh, what? Uh, 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 all right. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> You ain't gonna be doing much talking once I'm done. I... Well, he'll be talking, he'll just be the other end. He'll be like a trumpet. <laughs> I am uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, it might actually help you. <laughs> now I can just continue my career of talking out my ass. <laughs> no, no, no. See, since you already do so much talking out your ass, once I do this, you actually talk from your mouth. <laughs> Damn, he got me. <laughs> anyway. Oh my oh my the match starts with uh, Berserker against Weavile. Kalisto is going sorry, to I, switch. That was rude. It's fine. It's, for, it's all banter. Kalisto switches into Venusaur as Berserker sets up a rain dance. Kalisto Meg evolves, it goes for an Earth Power, does not kill. Meanwhile, Kevin sets up a nasty plot. However, he will die to the second Earth Power. Alas, the last stand had his last hand. Yep. Uh, Miu comes in, Kalisto sends out Armaldo, gets hit by a hurricane, gets confused. Yep, goes for another hurricane. Armaldo hits itself in confusion, which of course means it will die to the third hurricane if it hits. But we don't need to worry about that because we just go for Earth Power instead. Weavile comes back out, kills New Mew with a knockoff. The Ancient One has blessed us with his presence as Kalisto switches back into Mega Metasaur, allowing Kevin to get a free Shell Smash. Goes for a Blizzard, misses, then dies to a Giga Drain. And the Ancient One is gone back into the US. Lyscore 
comes in. Gets leech seated. Sets up a sword stance. And then uh, Blaze can just start the Blaze can. No, Venusaur. Funniest looking Blaze gun I've ever seen. Venusaur just starts doing Venusaur things, as it does. Uh, does die to an acrobatics from full. It is blazing, all right. Ha ha ha, we joke. It's blazing its way, way to the grave. Uh, knockoff is going to finish off Glyscore. <laughs> Batman. Koopa Unbound comes in, dies to a nice scissor for full. That Weavile doesn't have a name. None of his mons have a name. I'm no one to talk. I didn't name my mons. But I just, I, and I, I, then Poltergeist is just going to die before it could even begin to live. <laughs> Man, I hope... Man, I hope that wasn't the uh, chip pot one. We will never know. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't the antique. <laughs> the genuine artifact. Yeah. Dumbest forms. The dumbest forms. <laughs> Literally the only way to even see the difference is to look at it through the 3D model in the Pokedex. It's the dumbest shit. No, Poltergeist doesn't have a Gigantamax. Oh, right. I mean Dynamax. <laughs> and finally... We saved the best for last. Seb, do you want to give the context or should I? So, a few days prior to, to the actual battle, Spooks messaged me, uh, and I can go ahead and scroll back up. So, so do you just want to do a meme or a serious bout? Because I'm 100% down to play the metronome game. And I had already built a team for him, but as soon as he sent that, I just went, yeah, let's do it. And I completely rebuilt. And thus, we ended up with the metronome battle to try to end all metronome battles, but we know full well that'll never happen. Oh god, you turned it on the slow for this? Oh yeah. Gotta, we gotta bask in the glory. We start off with God Hand against Snor Snorlax. Metronomes into U-turn. <laughs> Pivots into Chansey. Snorlax goes for a metronome with Whirlwind. And so Tangela gets dragged out. So Mr. Mind comes back in. Snorlax goes for teleport. <laughs> and McWhorter comes in. Bye, I'm head out. Yeah. Uh, high horsepower does a little under half to Magmortar as Magmortar goes for Metronome into Lava Plume. For context, this Magmortar actually had Lava Plume on its own in its moveset. Which made this even so, funnier. So, to explain, also, just because uh, Spook's playing D&D &D right now, so he's not gonna, probably not going to hop back and call. The reason Spook's hard switched back into God Hand was we both kind of, I think, had the same mindset of let's get our Metronomes out here while we can and let's stick to the whole Metronome until we're out of Metronomes. Oh, of course. And he only had two metronome mons, and I had yep. four, so he was trying to keep those two in. Well, well, I mean, I he did have... actually have a third, but he forgot that he got it. Which ones? Uh, for in Slowbro, Slowbro gets no, metronome. No, hmm? no, he even said that later on. He's like, I was wrong. Slowbro doesn't get it. Ah, I missed that part. Uh. <laughs> Moving right along. We're going to metronome into a stockpile. As Magmortar ends up going for Shadow Force. Quick Claw Prox. Metronome. Quick claw that. Yep. Not Metronomes one. into Dragon Claw, misses obviously, and dies to Shadow Force. Chansey comes in. Magmortar metronomes into Dragon Dance. <laughs> Tanks the bullet punch like it's nothing. That was a crit one, too. Magmortar then Chansey. gets shift gear.
eats another critical hit attack order. Metrodome's into Dragon Tail. Dragon Tails, Dragon Tails. So Spooks hard pivots back in Chansey. And then Meg Mortar Metrodome's into Rock Smash. <laughs> <laughs> And then gets the Quick Claw Metronome proc into Moonlight. Ah, yes. This Magmortar wins a thousand dollars. Which then allows it to just tank the Outrage like nothing. Get Metronome Freeze Dry, pop the Air Balloon, and then finally succumb to the second Outrage. But oh my god, that Magmortar is a champion among champions. So. And then, uh, quickly, you know, say this. And uh, obviously by now, y'all, because uh, he also already said that that Mung War did have a lot of fun. All of our mons did actually have moves for in case the other person just did just stop metronoming and stuff. But we kind of both were holding fast on it. And even after he ran out of metronomers, yes, I could have just started playing normally, but I just kind of decide to stick to the meme so that's why some things just well you'll find mm. out just finished session of skyward sword hd button controls make cell phone sky feel an easy clap oh my god i love the fact that button controls are things so much i don't think this meg has ever had a bad metronome term no no it did not <laughs> uh season one it did against you wade not season one season two yeah i would still call that a clean record uh, Metronome into Recover on Snorlax. As uh, Morpico goes for a parting shot. And goes into Lucario. Snorlax goes for a Metronome Avalanche. Lucario is going to go for a Bullet Punch. Snorlax will then Metronome into Laser Focus. Gurg is getting serious. Yep. Gets uh, gets hit by a stone edge. Metronomes into Leaf Blade. And that did over a quarter. Good old Leaf Blade. Misses the next stone edge. Stone Miss does it again! Metronomes into Rock Tomb. Procs the Agua Berry. Metronomes into Rock Blast. Gets one two, three hits, a grand total of 5%. Uh, Gudra comes in and gets hit by a Mega Kick. Almost half of its health, just gone in an instant. Sunny Day gets set up. Sev Metronomes into Howl, gets rid of that attack drop. Gets hit by a Fire Blast, which does, you know, fuck all. Sev metronomes into a crit drill run. Gutra is hanging on for dear life right now. Goes for a fire punch, does not get the burn. Snorlax metronomes into a leech seed, procking sap sipper. <laughs> <laughs> Which then lets Gutra go for a plus one flamethrower, still does not get a burn, and then Snorlax finishes the job of the play rough. Uh, and now, this Tangela is just a god. You know, goes for an power, does not get the boosts. Sorolax tries to go for Purify, doesn't work, obviously. And then, obviously, Tangela gets the boosts. He's a hacky boy! Look at him dance. Grimmsnarl comes in, Metronomes into Crush Claw. Gets the defense drop. Tangly goes for knockoff, getting rid of the focus band. Grimmsnarl here. goes for hammer arm. Gets that speed reduction, but not that it matters because prankster. Terry goes for a plus one special attack solar ream. Barely does not get the kill. Grimmsnarl metronomes into powder snow. Terry goes for Ancient Power. Uh, 
Alakazam comes in, Mega Evolves, Tracing Chlorophyll. Then Metronomes into Withdraw. While Tangela goes for a knockoff. Alakazam then Metronomes into Fire Fang and Burns. Tangela goes for Leech Seed. Alakazam then Metronomes into Growth. Thank God the sun is not up anymore. Alakazam was thinking to itself, there's gonna be sun, but too yeah. bad, soul's head. Alakazam barely hanging alive by now. Misses the Bull Strike. Then dies to another Ancient Power. Golisopod comes in. Goes for the first impression, finishing the job on Terry the Tangela. Godspeed, That's what, one turn out of like 30 total for Metronome? That's insane. What a G. Yep. Uh, Stone Edge does a hefty chunk to Golisopod, but that's not going to stop Lucario from dying to Liquidation. And finally, we have Plushy Snacks against the world. Unfortunately, the world... The world can be a cruel, cruel place, as although we do finish off Golisopod, we will find that... Morpico does not stand a chance against Rhydon. Outrage does fuck all, and he dies to an earthquake. And that's going to do it for our Wave 3 matches. Real quick to go over team standings. In first place right now, is Jack. Second place by one kill is Sandy. In third place, we have Kalisto. In fourth place, again, by one kill is Clay. Fifth place is a tie between Wade and Sev. Sixth place is myself. Seventh place is a tie between Lion Boy and Ray. Eighth place is a tie between Tyler and Spooks. Kevin ends up in ninth place, and Yurun rings out the table in tenth. In terms of exchanges for week four, I have Gliscor again. This has been my most expensive joke, and boy, was it worth it. Especially considering you were yelling at Zygarde last battle. Uh, you were so mad. Spooks has committed treason, and thus become public memory number one by effing Arbok away for Haunter. He also has Lucario. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin has dropped... Poltygeist for a Lolan Muck. Actually, I need to switch these around. Hang on. There we go. Lion Boy has dropped Claydol for Sandaconda, Gigalith for Rotom Mo, Roserate for Indeedy Female, and Opalug for Cryogonal. And Sandy has dropped a Lolan Muck for Decidueye. Our MVP table! Nesquik has overthrown Treezus as the current leader of the MVP table. With a whopping six kills. In second place is our Lord and Savior, Tresis. Albino Namekian Dog takes third. Santa Claus the Wavile takes fourth. Golden Gun the Mega Steelix has taken fifth place. Patch the Mega Mawile takes sixth. Batarang the Goldback takes 7th. Golisopod takes 8th. 
Long Arms the Celesteela takes 9th place. Average Chihuahua the Flareon takes 10th. Remember Me, the Corviknight is in 11th. Crow Batman, the Crowbat is in 12th. Blake the Jirachi is in 13th. Terry the Tangela is in 14th. And bringing out the top 15 is Final Froggit the Greninja. With that out of the way, let's let's figure out our schedule for week four, shall we? Although first things first, well, we have to we have to figure out the snom rule. Snom this week is a snom. <laughs> in other words, this floor is in fact made out of floor. Fetch's knife has a tiny wound. He is a slime boy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't think anybody has claims the week four by. Double check real quick. No, no one has claims the week four by. All right. So, Clay is going to be fighting Calexto, or Callisto rather. Lion Boy is fighting Yarun. This could only end well. Dev is fighting Tyler. Let's see, I believe. Ray, you've already fought Wade, right? Uh, I don't know. Fought a whack when it's in Vito. No. So. Nope. All right. So Ray is up against Wade. Oh boy! It's gonna go away. I have high hopes. Just kidding. No, I don't. <laughs> I read that as fart, so I have no idea what's up with my brain right now. Spooks against Sandy, has that happened yet? Hmm. Look like it. No. Alright, so Spooks is fighting Sandy. Side. 
Jack is fighting Kevin, which means I have the bye week. Hooray! Oh wait, no, Jack's already fought Kevin. In that case, Jack fights me, which means Kevin gets the bye week, unless Kevin already wanted the bye week on a certain one. I don't think he's claimed it. No. Shit. I actually really wanted the bye week this week. Well, you can always climb it. Hang on, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this around. Okay, yeah, so if Sandy fights Kevin, and then Spooks fights Jack. But you'd know who's fought who. A lot more than I would. Alright. That is our schedule for week four. So, I'll see you guys Tuesday with more uh, XY Nuzlocke Versus, and then I'll see you guys uh, at the latest next Sunday with the next recap. See you guys then.